Welcome to the Leith Noise Up show. And uh, today I have to interview Graham Anderson because uh, of a big bit of a stushy that's been going around on the internet. Let's throw in the name Ian Taylor and Vitol or Vital? Vital. Yeah. Vital. It turns out Vital, a company most of you have never heard of, is the biggest commodity trading company in the world. It's as big as Shell, as big as Esso, as big as BP. <coughs> Keep you quiet in the audience there. Right, now I'm going to take you through what our role in, in, in the Stuji, how uh, a website called National Collective was threatened with legal action by Vital and Ian Taylor and is at the moment offline. Graham, let's start with Sunday morning. Good afternoon, Stuart. Yes, um, well, Sunday morning was certainly quite interesting. Anyway, Nazi flag thing. That's right, yes. The Scotland and Sunday editors had already posted on Saturday evening that uh, the photograph would be appearing the next day, and of course, it created quite a stir. But, and you, um, you reckon that was just a. Well, yes, a very, very early on Sunday morning, um, it was sort of. The cynic in me says slipped out that the, the no, campaign kind of some had bad news going to come out. Donors now. list, and you know, my immediate thought was that uh, Sunday is a very um, strange time to release a donor list. It gives plenty of time for your political opponents to dissect the various foibles that your donors may have. And so, very quickly, um, a user on Twitter by the name of Dharma Bum, Dharma Bum, Dharma Bum, name. Um, posted a link to an organisation who tracks the various activities of oil companies in Scotland. It's called Frackoff. Frackoff. Or Tor. UK. Yeah. Frackoff. And it was clear then that uh, Ian Taylor and his company uh, Vital had quite a uh, colourful history. So at that point, um, it's very simple. We just chased the news links. You, you, the, you sent me the link and the pair of us went that's right. All we, over the internet we, and started we posting. Took it to Twitter, took it to Facebook, started getting the message out, and slowly and surely it started to gain some traction. So I'd say probably a good two or three hours of, of laboring the point. Yeah, and we, we worked it. People, people started we worked to, it on Sunday afternoon to pick up on this. And by Sunday evening, um, Gray from National Collective, he'd written his piece and posted it online for people to. to Divulge, not to divulge, to digest. Well, he he summarised the whole picture. That's bearing right. in mind, bearing in mind that well, basically, National Collective, this quite quite important website, is currently offline because of threats of legal action by Vitol and this guy Ian Taylor, who is a dodgy geezer, dirty well, money. Well, well, that's true. He, he's and he's a, he's a, he, he's already given five hundred and fifty million pounds to the Tories. 500 million, sorry, 550,000 pounds to the Tories, let's not exaggerate, and 500,000 pounds to the No campaign. That's correct. At the end of last year, John Mann, Labour MP, uh, who sits on the Treasury Select Committee, um, described Ian Taylor's donation to the Tory party and to David Cameron as dirty money and demanded they return it. And what, what is Alistair Darling and the Better Together campaign doing well, so taking far, his money? Well, so far they've said that they've taken his money in good faith and that's as far as we've heard from now, them. Now, what we know is, in fact, one of his companies uh, paid money to Arcan, a million dollars, well, that's correct. Uh, we have a, a, a Serbian warlord. He's now dead, but he was the notori most notorious figure in the entire Balkan uh, Yugoslav civil war. We have um, a piece from the Guardian from two thousand and one. That's what I mean. We, we're not which, we're not taking risks with the law. It's all already in the in public domain. Which um, which describes the then director of Vital, Bob Finch, and his quotes on meeting Arkan. He said, "Yes, I met Arkan." It doesn't look good, I agree. So you can read from that for you will, for you will. But well, the basic the story was that um, Vitol had a deal with somebody in Serbia yeah. about some oil. This, this other person in Serbia had wanted to pull out the deal, so Vitol paid Arkan a million dollars to lean on this person. Yeah, which he did. That's that's very much the the gist and, of the, and, and the Guardian, and, and the contract was yeah, complete. And the contract was. And that's the story yeah. in the Guardian. Yeah, yeah. But you have to understand, of course, it's not just the association with the uh, Balkan warlords that um, that they still have a coloured checkered pants. Well, it was Saddam Hussein as well. Yes, that's right. And and, and also we have on record that um, 
Vittal was indicted for grand larceny. Oh, it's been States guilty. They, they, they put their hands up. Grand larceny in the yeah. United States courts. Which, Sim, and they were fined 17 and a half million yes. pounds. And, and, uh, this and, is a company that's funding the Tories and the Better Together campaign. That's correct, yes. And these yes. are facts. Yeah. They're on the internet. Absolutely, absolutely. So we have a very colourful history with some, some money coming from very checkered backgrounds, which I think demands some answers, certainly from the, from the No campaign. And at the end of the day, the, 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 the one website that published, summarised the whole story, is threatened with legal action and is now down. That's correct, and they're, unfortunately they're not the only ones. There's another two or three um, independent media wings. bloggers. Been wings, o wings over Scotland has been threatened with legal Pete action. Pete Burton or uh, something, another one? Pete Burton, regular contributor to the, the debate on Twitter. I think had his account suspended. Well, let's just say the Streisand effect. Well, that's correct. I mean, if, if they wanted to bury this as bad news, then I think they've gone the wrong way about it. Thank you very much.